So our friend um, Lathheim, Lathium, Lath- Lathheim Oakleaf, he's or back Lathium. again. He's back again today, and he's um, he's got some. Uh, he's got like a leather cloak underneath that wolf stuff that you uh, you've already yep. seen in the previous video. And you're gonna show us how to do some cracked leather. Yeah, yeah. So I I broke the miniature down and it laid some base coats between our videos just to take away from so much of the black and white. But today we're focusing on the cracked leather. He's got this cape, and uh, I don't know. I, Correct leather, I think it can be used for a lot of things, and it's also going to sh- shed some light on wet blending, stippling things together, can change the colors and kind of use this technique on a few different things, but it works for leather, and that's what we're going to do today. So it's baby steps as far as wet blending is concerned. It's a good place to yeah, start. Yeah, this is super easy. It's, it's like wet stabbing. You're just jabbing the, the paints in there, seeing what, what happens, Watch, seeing where the dust settles so to speak. So, looking forward to it. Yes, watch and try. Hey everybody, this time we're gonna be doing a video on tarnished and cracked leather. Uh, we've got our our buddy, our star of the show, Lathheim here, and we're doing another s- step on him. You can see he's got a, a lot of leather strips put together to make a nice cape for himself. And I've already laid down a one thin base coat of Thornwood Green, and that's over the uh, black spray paint with a white Xenthial overspray. And it's just one thin layer put over there. I'm gonna show you all the colors involved. These be the culprits. We got Coal Black, Thornwood Green, Trollblood Highlight, Battle Dress, Battle Dress Green, and then of course Vallejo White, Vallejo Black. See all the colors laid out on my palette here. Um, to really get this going, it's wet blending to begin it. A lot of people are scared of this technique. It's one of the easiest things out there, especially in this way. It's more of a wet stabbing. So this is how we do it. So we're already working on top of our thin layer of thornwood green. So I'm just going to kind of stab some into the lower shadows here. Grab my troll blood highlight, start stippling it into place, and look at that. The wet colors are blending together with each other in all kinds of assorted ways. Stab, stab, stab. Get all mixed in there. I'll grab some of my highlight here, put it on randomly. Well, Random-ish. I'm keeping uh, a lot of the highlights towards the edges, a lot of this brighter color towards the, the edges of the cracked leather. You can see we got kind of a spotty beginning. This might make a good start for some Nurgle flesh or something. But yeah, you see, you kind of lay it all down. I'm, I'm laying colors in one place that are getting drier in another place. I move back to the place that are a little more sticky, dry, and kind of stab them around. I might take the, the darker color, put it in there a little bit, just like that. <clears throat> Quick. That was, I don't even know how many seconds, but you're watching, so time it out. That's the first layer. I'll let that sit and dry. Now the next layer, I'm going to take some of the coal black. I'm going to glaze that into the shadows. Smooth this time, not doing any of the stipple stabs. Just going to blend it in there subtly to kind of get some of the shadows going. This is just Alternately, you could use a different cold color. This is just my choice for today. Purple, blue, any of your colder colors. Glazed up, mixed in. Now I got a little of that Battle Jess green. Just poking the green in there because I want Lathheim to be green. Everything on him, I'm putting a little bit of green into because he is a man of the forest. I want a unified color scheme. 
a look-see at that. Stippled in there. Take a little bit of this troll blood highlight mixed with battle dress green. Stab that in there. Starting to leave some finer points here and there. A few heavier spots. Whole idea is a lot of kind of translucent layers of spots building on top of each other, crossing over, creating more points of contrast. And then once once that's all done, you kind of go pick out all the uh, lines that have been created for you inside of all the chaos. Back to the the brightest color. My highlight being a mixture of Vallejo white and Troll Blood highlight. There we go. Putting a little bit of that on top of the uh, the heavier dots I just laid down. Ba boom! Cracked leather. Coming right along. I'm gonna take tiny bit of black, mix it in with the coal black, which is actually to me is kind of an ocean green. It's like a deep kind of aquatic blue green. Now we're, we're paying attention again. We're not like stabbing it in if you're painting along. I guess it's just me by myself. But uh, yeah, redefining some of those shadows, the uh, wrinkles that were sculpted in there by the wonderful sculptor. Yeah, do a little glaze, thin uh, washy glaze into the, the cracks. Just gonna get those defined. There we go. Moving down the scale in brushes a little bit now. I've got the triple O. I see in the comments some people are asking what kind of brushes I use, and I think that the truth might disappoint you. These are some pretty crappy brushes. They're, uh, <laughs> I just dropped it, but my Artscape, I got these off of Amazon. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've been poking around and trying to find some decent brushes. A lot of the time I, I just go through these brushes and they just kind of get smashed by the end. So, I mean, if you're, you're painting a lot the way I go through brushes, they don't uh, last long, so I don't invest too much into them. I mean, I am looking for a, a certain something, but we'll talk about that later. I just wanted to tell everybody not to get too wound up about what brushes I use. I think a lot of different tools can, can yield good results for you. But now I'm just putting some dots along the edges, my highlights here. And where the, the cracked leather portion comes in, you see all these, these weird smudges? I'm just going to start edge, just painting little lines on the uh, upper portions, kind of trying to highlight whatever fell into place naturally from all the wet blending. We even do some just some scrapes right across it, some weird straight lines. This leather is just getting wailed on, it's beaten and beaten while Latham's wearing it. You can kind of see a pattern developing here. We're going to save some time, cut away. I'm going to do a little more highlighting on this. Because obviously this, you know, this is a, the more detailed part, so it's going to take a few more passes. Everything else was quick, though, up to this point. So take a break, and I'm going to do some, uh, some highlighting off camera, and then we'll come back. All right, we're back. And uh, so, like I said, I was just going to concentrate a little more time on painting those over textures, and you can see them uh, coming through in the cape here. So the next step will be to reapply the glazes we did for the shadows, reapply the highlights. Just knocking back and forth. So I'll take a little bit of the coal black mixed with Vallejo black. 
put it in there ever so slightly, just little bits. All right. I'm also going to take some more of that battle dress green because, in my opinion, not enough of it was showing through. So I'm just going to dab it on here in some of the mid areas. Not much care about blending here because we're going for a rough texture. So if you suck at blending, try this. So that's that. And then uh, final round, like I said, we'll just be reapplying a highlight mixture between Troll Blood Highlight and Vallejo White. I still want that pure white white, so. And there we go. This. Uh, be really, really careful this time, adding little points where your where your cracks are intersecting and crisscrossing. Real careful, like. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and paint on some cracks with that black and green mixture, just to add some extra deep cracks. Let's draw a couple lines here and there. Kind of when I was talking about highlighting the upper edge of the, these natural uh, lumps and cracks that appeared from overlapping, now we're underlining those, getting a little more definition. You can see it coming through. Yeah, that should be good. And I'll go back and highlight the underside. And I'm doing these, I'm not just drawing straight lines, it's it's all broken up. I'm kind of drawing it with like a series of dots. Yeah, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna do all those highlights again, and then we'll come back with the finished piece. All right, everybody, here is the finished product. Some cracked leather on Lathheim's cape. Thanks to Adam and everybody down at Tabletop Minions. You can see more of my work in progress at samsonminis.blogspot.com. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you all soon.